Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. I already have on my base face chapstick. I didn't wait, y'all. I just, I'm sorry. And I felt weird doing it. But part of me is like, let me just speed up this video because I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing me with the Sunset Palette. So part of me just wanted to rush and get the look done. So I have on the chapstick. I have on a Fenty Gloss Bomb and Hot Chocolate. I did my regular base face. And I did not forget blush to blush today. This is the Putty Blush in Bali from e.l.f. Um, everything else is the same. Fenty Brow MVP in Soft Black. I already primed my eye with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer, of course. And I do have one my brow highlight already from the palette, which is Ice Gold. This one right here in the middle. I'm going to back up because I forgot to tell you about my under eye. I am liking... The Fenty, what is it called? Ugh. Bright Fix Eye Brightener and Peach under my eye. I do still see some discoloration when I'm looking down here in the mirror because it's less light down here than up here. But to me, that does just still look natural. It's not as dark as it looks without this, but it's still some discoloration that I see. But to me, it does look natural. This, today, I had a time with it because it's hard to squeeze out a little bit. And so I ended up wiping it off with the brush and putting some on my hand and using it off of there. And I don't like the waste product. And with the blending and the layering of this, I did end up using all of it, even though initially when I put it on, it was too much. And I used the NARS medium deep two caramel for around my nose area and my blemishes because I'm a picker so I have like two things here and I had an extraction here but then it was looking too dark and so I went over top of that with the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in 13 which is cream caramel in those same areas and I did shave my mustache recently <laughs> so hopefully this area is not looking as dark as usual and so that's everything on my face regular powders and everything else and so I have my brushes out and I have my liners out mascara is here so I'm hoping I don't forget anything so we're going to just jump right in and we're going to take soul on the first half of the lid with the makeup forever straight and wavy brush number 234 and I don't believe they sell this anymore and we're going to wrap it underneath Isom V31. This shade does have a lot of kick up and I thought it was the brush that I used the other day and it's the same with the, the brush that I used to place it on my lid. With the pencil brush not so much but with any brush I use for my lid and this is a slanted brush and so I did just press in where the other one was a fluffy brush or fluffier and I did swipe it but this shade I think it's just this one um, regardless of what brush you use unless it's a pencil brush there will be a lot of kick up in the pan. We're going to take Bronze Age this shade here and put that on the center of the lid with a Scott Barnes number 61 brush. I'm going to go back with that first brush and end with that first color. Back with the Scott Barnes brush, no additional shade. We're just pressing in between those two colors. Well, where those two colors meet. We're going to take Horizon, this shade in the middle, and put that as a transition shade using a Scott Barnes number 62 brush. We're going to take Volcano, this shade here, on the outer corner and we're going to take it slightly into the crease and then also wrap it underneath our lower lash line. To start with, we're going to use the Scott Barnes number 63 brush.
We're going to take a Sephora brush, number 24. It says Smoky Eye. They do not make this anymore. It's one of the silver handle ones. If you guys were around for that, probably like 15 years ago. And we're going to put that under here. We're going to take Igneous, this shade here with the Esom V33 and we're going to put that directly into the crease but not all the way over directly into the crease maybe two-thirds of the way over we're going to take Horizon again this middle shade with the Fenty Precision brush number 220 and we're going to take that under our lower lash line I probably should have used Bermuda to do this No shadow on this brush whatsoever, and we're just going to blend that. And that is it for the shadows. And so we're going to, I think I'm digging it. I think I should take that brown up a little higher because it's looking like a whole lot of orange up there. You know what, let's do that really quick. No additional shadow on this brush. This is the one we use for igneous for the this area of our crease and I'm just going to go in small circular motions just to try to bring that brown up a little bit without actually adding more color to the brush I think that looks better I like it I like this mm. I like that a lot I bring out a pencil liner because I was going to do pencil liner underneath and then put powder on top of it, but too late. So we're going to put that away. The Fenty Fly Liner, because I'm black, that came in a bundle. We're going to do our upper lash line. We're going to take Obsidian, the Hourglass Mechanical Gel Pencil. Put that on our waterline. Oh, this is feeling um, sharp today. We're going to take the Lancome Seals Booster Mascara Lash Primer. Then we're going to take the Full Frontal Fenty Mascara, because I'm black, that came in with the bundle with the other stuff, the other Fenty stuff. I kind of want to do something else with my lips, but I'm not, because <laughs> my lips are usually off balance from my eye look. <laughs> So I'm going to leave this like this, and this is the look that we have. Look number 12 with the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. You guys are probably sick of this palette, but you have 12 looks that you can draw inspiration from. And I am going to still do two shadow looks, really quick clips, and just put them all in one video. And then we'll be done with this palette. And I am going to move on to, well not on to, but back to the Metropolis palette. I have a video of looks I've done, but it was just one of those, this shade is here, this shade is there. Excuse me, and I did use every shade in this palette, and I realized I didn't do tutorials though. So I'm going to go back and do that. I'm going to recreate those looks and do tutorials and sprinkle those in between all the sunset looks, because otherwise from mid-June to like the end of July will just be all Natasha Denona Sunset. And so instead of just Natasha Denona Sunset, it'll also be Natasha Denona Metropolis. And I'll think of other things to sprinkle in because I don't want you guys to be like, oh my God, her with these Natasha Denona palettes is driving me nuts. So that's what I'm going to do. I thank you for being here for my journey. Let me know what you think of this look. I am really seriously digging it. I really, really like it. 
So let me know. If you have this palette, you've done looks with it, you know, post them below if you've done videos. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks.